But anyway, I'm glad to see a room full of women because, you know, ladies, y'all, y'all have to understand the power that y'all possess. Let me give you an example. During the whole quarantine shit, when shit shut down, if y'all ain't couldn't go to work and couldn't do shit else, you could go online and, and set up an OnlyFans <laughs> and pop out a tip, right? And somebody be like, how much is you the other one? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we couldn't do that during that voice, and you couldn't set your page up and, and pop out one ball. <laughs> and host somebody want to see the next one. Like, motherfucker, you better put your ball away. Nobody want to see your damn ball. They be like, I got a phone for the dick pics I didn't ask for. <laughs> somebody said, Stacks? I know. And that's focused on me and Paul. You know Stop sending out unsolicited dick pics. Okay? Especially randomly during the day. You fuck around sitting out a pic. It could be your girl and she ain't asked for it. Then a picture pop up and a boss stand over her shoulder trying to get a report. Here come your dick, now she fired. But ladies, if you get a dick pic, especially one you ask for, respect that because it's an art form and it takes uh, fucking preparation. Coochie pics take no effort. Click, 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 click. You can do, we don't give a shit. It can be shaved, not shaved. It can be groomed, ungroomed. It can be fat, it can be skin. It can be an idiot, an alley. We don't give a shit. Show the coochie. We're like, hey, hey, a dick needs preparation because you can't see your dick out just on a natural. <laughs> You can't see your dick out on regular. You gotta prepare your dick, right, fellas? All right, so you know, and they understand this, ladies. We understand it's an art form. Here's the thing. See, we can't be too hard, because then you'll know we've been playing with ourselves. You're like, you're like, how your dick all hard and shiny like that? You know, it's usually ashy. Uh, and then you can't get get too far away from, from your shit, you know what I'm saying, because it'll look too small, but you can't get too close, because then it'll look too big. And then you show up with your regular dick, she's like, that ain't the dick from the phone. You know, you've been dick fishing. You know? And then you gotta get your ankles, right? Like you don't wanna get your feet in the picture, because that's, that's that's creepy. You don't nobody wanna see your dick in your feet. <laughs> and chances are you ain't took the time to take your drawers off your ankle. <laughs> so ain't nothing sexy about an ass ass ankle and a dick with a foot. So we have to we have to prepare, ladies. So respect a, a good dick pic when you get it. Okay? I didn't know why I'm talking about that because that's that's beyond me right now. I know that that's it. Uh, How y'all doing at that table? Good, good. I see you, girl. Now that's dope. My wife used to have her shit like that. She she changed up every once in a while. My wife changed her shit up all the time. Now come on, I don't know who I'm about to see. It'll be a different hair. Now that's the beauty of y'all have. Like, like for me, she gets no surprise. It's gonna be this. I should go out, y'all know they got that man weave shit. I should come on with a fade and then this is make it, make it a little high on top too. Just come on like she'll call the police. Who the fuck is this? Y'all got advantages, y'all can do shit like that. You know? But stop working on yourself so much. You know, a, lot of, a lot of women going out and doing too much work. You know, Yeah, it's unnecessary. You're beautiful as you are. Every last one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. Because there's somebody for you, no matter what you look like, what size you are, what color you are. You have to be somebody like exactly what you are. You just ain't found them if you don't have them. There's one dude saying, boy, I like a motherfucker with a little red ponytail. <laughs> He don't want to light up. See, look at you. Uh -uh. I want to light them up with a red ponytail. <laughs> if somebody from all oh, y'all, yeah. and then they going out, you might already be straight, then you gonna go out and get your little upgrades. But let me say something. It's okay if you want to get your little, your little BBL and your mommy makeover, you know, with your hands this and tighten that up. Because shit happens all the time with your body, you understand. But just go to the right place for one. <laughs> Make sure you got the budget for it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be going out there, man. Well, like they went to Miami. I just seen a couple of Dr. Detroit's going around. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ain't quite right. It's a little, it's a little Michigan like, you know? Ain't nothing flowing about that motherfucker. I just seen something that went and did a layaway. I got this ad done. <laughs> Get that other chick so my stimulus here. <laughs> Go to the right place. Save up. You know what I'm trying to tell you. And y'all doing a lot, you know. <laughs> Let me talk about
talking about these lashes, okay? Um, now fuck that, okay? Enough's a fucking enough. Because they keep expanding. I ain't talking about the regular lashes. I ain't talking about lashes that are somewhat fluffy. I ain't talking about those. I'm talking about the Walmart cashier lashes. Y'all know the fuck. You know who the fuck I'm talking about. They're not the good ones. And they look like you see the regular lash, you see some skin, and you see that lash. You know what I'm talking about. And it, I think it's a requirement at Walmart. I think every Walmart cashier has to have them lashes. I think on day one, they get a name tag of rest of them big ass fucking lashes. Do not bring an item to the counter and that shit don't stand. She's like, eh, uh oh. I can't read this shit. Eh, I'm gonna need a manager on 11 with no lashes. And I need a manager, no lashes on 11. And don't get me wrong, ladies, it is not my place to tell you what to do to your face. That's your face. Whatever you want to do to your face, that's your face. And let me say something. Let me say about the If you're beautiful, lashes ain't gonna make you more beautiful. Okay? You already beautiful, right? Okay? And if you're not beautiful, well, ain't no magic lashes, all I'm trying to say. <laughs> then I keep like, all my life I had to fight. But then I got my lashes. No, that ain't, how... ain't no magic lashes. People used to tease me every day until I got my lashes. Ever since I got my lashes, my credit score went up. <laughs> my student loan debt was reduced. This dude, I, I married this motherfucker. I wash his clothes, I cook his food, I suck his dick, and he still won't marry me. But then I got my lashes, and he was on one knee. <laughs> Ain't no miracle spring water lashes in the world. I'm you. I'm just, fuck miracle spring water, too. That's some bullshit. And it's still, it's bullshit for everybody, but then they make it racist because. The miracle will be different for us. Yeah. If you watch it, you know what I'm saying? It'll be a white one on there. Uh, before I had Miracle Spring Water, I didn't have any of this land. Now we have three whole farms and an orchard. As soon as I sprinkle on Miracle Spring Water, come a black lady. Well, before Miracle Spring Water, I was three payments behind on my car now. It's some bullshit. Let me celebrate bullshit. Am I wrong? My cable was cut off, but then I sprinkled the miracle spring water on the cable bill. Hell yeah. Then it come Peter Popoff, the miracle spring water. The fuck, you know how dumb you gotta be to believe it's the water that